Aside from our previous video, there's still some information you need to know about Polish Rabbit. Teach your rabbit some commands. Training a rabbit isn't always easy, but with a bit of patience, Polish rabbits can learn commands including stay, come and sit. Look into some rabbit training tutorials online or at your local library and start training your rabbit with some basic commands. Take the rabbit to an exotic animal veterinarian for checkups. Find a veterinarian near you who specializes in rabbit medicine. Make sure the rabbit is vaccinated against myxomatosis and viral hemorrhagic disease. They should also be checked several times a year for fleas, ticks, and worms. The vet will also check the rabbit's teeth and ears for any issues. Schedule regular visits to the vet for the rabbit so it stays healthy and disease-free. Get the rabbit spayed or neutered. Rabbits that are not spayed or neutered are at a higher risk of developing cancer and other medical issues. Your vet can spay or neuter your Polish rabbit at their office. Bring the rabbit to the vet if you notice any medical issues. Polish rabbits are susceptible to fly strike, which occurs when their bottom becomes dirty or infected. If you notice your rabbit is not moving around much in its cage and has not gone to the bathroom recently, bring it to the vet to check for this issue. You should also check the rabbit's teeth once a week to ensure they are growing properly and are not too long. If they are too long, bring the rabbit to the vet. The vet can then recommend treatment for the issue. Breeding schedule. When setting up a breeding system for your rabbitry, your first consideration should be your purpose for raising rabbits. If you're raising rabbits for meat, you may want to produce as many friars as possible. If you're mostly interested in showing rabbits, you may want to have only a few litters each year and time them to provide a stock of the proper age for showing. Rabbit breeding schedules are usually based on 7-day intervals for ease in record keeping. Many commercial rabbit producers will breed does back 14 to 21 days after kindling. A 35-day breed back schedule is recommended. You can shorten the interval between kindling and breeding as you gain experience. However, intensive breeding programs may increase the number of does called put down annually due to burning out. Age to breed. Different breeds of rabbits reach sexual maturity at different ages. The smaller breeds become sexually mature earlier than the larger breeds. Small breeds, such as the Polish rabbits can be bred at 4 to 5 months of age. The females of all rabbit breeds reach sexual maturity earlier than the males. This means that does can be put into production before bucks of a similar age. Mating. When do become receptive to mating, they will usually show signs of being in heat. They may act restless, rub their chins on feet in water containers or other equipment, and show a desire to join other rabbits. The vulva, external genital organ of the female of does that are ready to mate is slightly swollen, moist and a reddish, purplish color. A small, dry, pale, whitish vulva means that the doe is not ready to breed. The doe may also present herself, and lie on her stomach or lift her tail when touched if she is in heat. Before any mating attempts, examine both the buck and doe to be sure they are in good condition and free of disease and injury. Always take a doe to the buck's cage for mating. Does our territorial, and another animal being placed in her cage may cause her to become defensive. Also, if a buck is placed in a strange cage, he may spend a long time sniffing around the cage before breeding the doe. When a doe that is ready for mating is placed with an active, experienced buck, mating should occur almost immediately. Of course, the mating young and experienced stock may require more time than mating experienced breeders. At the completion of the mating act, the buck will usually fall over backward or on his side. Temperament most believe that smaller rabbits are best suited for families with young children, as the rabbit is still small, cuddly, and adorable well into its adult years. However, the smaller the rabbit, the easier it is for children to drop them and accidentally hurt them, so we do not recommend this rabbit breed for small children despite their excellent disposition. Their docile, affectionate nature is wonderful for singles, couples, seniors, or families with children old enough to understand how delicate rabbits are. These rabbits love attention and will happily be picked up, held, and petted by their human companions. Their small size makes them a great pet for those living in small apartments. Providing some toys for your rabbit to chew and play with is also a good idea, because your rabbit may entertain itself in other ways, your personal property may be their first culprit. These small rabbits are slightly more trainable than larger ones, magicians, for example, often use these small rabbits as part of their show. While teaching your Polish rabbit how to pop out of an empty top hat may not be your top priority, teaching them how to stay, come and litter training them would be useful. Teaching rabbits how to perform tricks and training is not as easy as teaching a dog or cat, but it is possible with time, patience and rewards. Polish bunny show quality. Polish should give the overall appearance of being regal or in other words, prim and proper, henceforth they have been given the nickname of little aristocrat. One of the biggest issues when determining the quality of Polish is their head mount, 
meaning the actual placement of their head. A correct head mount will not sit high on the shoulder, and will not require the handler to push or squish the rabbit into place. When in its natural resting position, otherwise known as pose, the body should be very short and compact. The length of their body is next on the list. When you look directly down over a correctly posed Polish, it should give the resemblance of a small round ball that was cut in half and sat on the table. Having a long body will throw off the balance, and cause the rabbit to look more like a Twinkie, being undesirable, rather than the majestic breed that they are. Otherwise, the head should be large, with bright bold eyes. The ears should be short and well furred, and the inner edges of the ears should rest against each other touching, with no gaps and without crossing one another. The shoulders should be taper back over a wide midsection and full hips, which are also well rounded from the peak of the hind quarter down to the table. The bone density, as mentioned, they need to be short and thin to further carry across the appearance of being dainty. Polish rabbits as pets. While Polish rabbits are small and energetic, this does not necessarily mean that they are suited for young children. This breed of the rabbit will be a lot of fun for adults and older kids but may not be the best pet for all of your children. Small rabbits are easy to pick up, and this could lead to injury as smaller kids want to pick up pets. As long as there is adult supervision, everyone should be fine. The main concern with this bunny is the amount of time and space they need. If you live in a small apartment with little room, then you may not be able to give the bunny the space to run around in. Similarly, if you are out of the house a lot, then you will not be able to give the bunny the time it needs. For this reason, a Polish rabbit is well suited to large families and bigger houses. This breed of rabbit loves attention and will allow you to pick it up and pet it when it becomes accustomed to you. They love to play and chew so make sure to furnish them with lots of toys. This will also stop them from becoming bored and destroying your possessions. Look for toys which are small and can be interacted with like balls and other things which roll. This is a great pet for anyone with the time to be with it. Polish rabbits are calm in temperament than most other compact rabbit breeds. They are known to be curious, intelligent, and playful and also enjoy attention. They are very friendly and even considered as safe for children. Although they can become aggressive sometimes if something goes wrong and they usually don't tolerate another animals or rabbit in the same hutch. The average lifespan of a Polish rabbit is about 5 to 6 years, but can live longer in proper care. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.